this video will be answering this question on Discord I get. So it's from Hassan85. He was asking about how we can create a sliding effect using products on PrestaShop. And he suggested the use of a certain glitter.js. Um, so let's go ahead and see how we can do this. All right. So the very first thing is my approach with uh, PrestaShop. So here I'll be using the featured products that it will actually uh, do pretty much of the job here. Let me just refresh my page. So here by default, we have a list of products that uh, uh, fit to certain conditions, but we don't really care about what kind of condition. The important thing that we have products being displayed. And the next uh, things is how we can adapt this glitter.js into our application. All right, all right. So let's go ahead to the IDE and this is the, the module and uh, the, well, we really don't need to care about what's going on here. Simply we have um, a render widget variable, uh, render widget and we have render widget variable which is or get widget variable which is this me this method returning this all products link that is basically a big array of products and we have this TPL that is responsible on displaying this so uh, it's very simple nothing really fancy it simply does include the product list uh, and it does pass products as a as a variable here a parameter and product as a value and some CSS classing things and here all the fancy thing does happen so let's go ahead and open this file and here we find that we have some for each stuff and yeah so we don't really get deep into this and be back into this later and now let's go ahead and see what is this glitter so simply it's some kind of javascript uh, library that allows us to create these uh, fancy slides nothing fancy about it um yeah so let's go ahead and out and see how we can introduce this so i go to for now i go to usage and uh, we have a small example on how things should be implemented so in my case i will go ahead and copy this code and i whip everything that is being inserted here and simply um, display this kind of content let's go back to the home page and see what will happen so well pretty basic stuff nothing fancy um, everything is by default no styling no javascript behind it and let's see how we can introduce basically this javascript so for my case here um, I'm in a production environment let's suppose and uh, I don't have access to um, the gulp and the kind of stuff to build or rebuild the assets so I'll be using some production assets here and the very first thing I'll be looking for is CDN do we have a CDN well we don't have CDN let's go to the to the GitHub page of this uh, library or this um, kind of uh, script things. And yeah, so this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this CSS from a CDN and this main.js from also another CDN. So let's go back to my ID and let's see where we can introduce this code. So um, let me open my Explorer here. Um, hopefully you could see what I'm seeing here. Let me make this bigger here. So what I'm going to do, I will open a certain JavaScript and style sheet files from the from the theme and I'll be updating them. So what is the style sheet.tbl? It's basically the file used by uh, modules and controllers to inject CSS files. This is why I'm going to paste my code, my calls to the CSS and same thing, I'll copy this min.js and I'll go to um, the JavaScript TPL. So it's basically the same, do the same job as the stylesheet.tpl, but for JavaScript files. So here I'll paste my call to the script and let's go back to the browser just to see if anything went well. Here, go ahead and open the console just to check that the loading went well. So immediately we do see that these arrows changed uh, the aspects and we have some glitter.min.css and also we have a glitter.min.js being loaded correctly. Well, for now we good. Now let's see how we can initiate um, uh, this kind of uh, call glitter. So I'll go ahead and copy this and I'm looking basically for another usage here. So um, 
So here, we need basically to attach it to the window, add event listener on the load, and we're going to execute. This is a very basic example. Let's copy this little one. So here, the next question is where we can call or paste basically this code. So the answer is fairly simple. Since we are on a production environment, as I said, we don't have access to gulp and debugging stuff and actually building your assets. So we need to deal with this and here, Fortunately, uh, we have this custom.js as this little command say, custom code goes here, a template should always ship with um, an empty uh, custom.js. So here, basically, we'll be doing all the hot fixes, let's say, on a production, and your code should go here because we have a theme.js, but it's for production, it's minified, and it's kind of... Um, Use this file or no. All right, so we have some red lines here saying that, well, we need just to whip this out and let's keep really things by default. Okay, so here, go ahead and add a log here. Uh, hello from um, custom.js, there you go. Just to make sure that everything went well, we go to the console and let's refresh this page. All right, so do we have our message? Let's see user messages. Um, my great we have a lot of blinky things things we don't see our messages go and um eager evaluation hide network and where other complete history group context can i just see only the message that i need all right let's go ahead and do some control f5 here i'm gonna back here you can Oh, shut it. <laughs> Voice over. All right, so do there we go. So we have our little message being displayed there, mean that our script is being executed correctly. And if I swipe, well, I don't know, but does it work? I'm not sure. Let's go back here and check the featured products, yes. And here, let's do one, two, three, just so you could see that something is being changed here when I swipe. So content one, well, it seems like it's not working for some reasons here, but I do ignore. Um, so we have the buttons, the glitter, All right, let's go ahead and copy some um, valid example. Let's copy these, these settings. So go ahead and do this. Okay, let's go to custom JS here and I'll paste this here. Just need to take this away and this away. Um, and go okay, keep this little things there. And instead of slide to show, I'll go ahead and set one and let's refresh. All right, let's see what will happen now. Well, okay, there we go, it's working. Seems like I need to define some kind of other uh, configuration just to, to enable the swipe, but for now it seems like it's not working. Um, let's see, swipe, do we have a swipe? Um, drag, something like this, yes. There, there you go. So we need to add this draggable to true. Well, we want to really explore all the options. Our goal here is to do this with some PrestaShop products. There we go. So the drag is working, but maybe I need to do some other configuration. That's not the time for it. Okay, now let's go ahead and transform this to, um, to, uh, to use our products, basically. So here I will copy, I will basically whip everything here. This will be removed and I will in command this little section here. There we go. So our section will be this little one here about copying this little class and let's place it right there. And this is the glitter. Okay. Um, so our things, our products we go are this little part. So I'll go ahead and do this, whip it. 
and I will jump to this file and simply here I will copy this because this this uh, product list is being shared with many many other modules and controllers so if I do my changes here this will impact other uh, the other uh, let's say um, players so I go ahead and simply take this away here and paste this let's quickly format this all right so um, let's see what will happen so we can for now remove this so this for each basically be looping through the products that is being injected by certain control that we don't really care or basically it's not a controller it's um it's the pro featured product and here instead yeah it's products it's the same name so we can take it off okay and let's let's keep this um these arrows let's place them to the top okay so glitters contain this one the sections let's paste these ones here okay time for truth let's see if this will work well it seems like it's not working because why uh, well to discover why we need simply to inspect this uh, these guys so um yeah this is i think the reason why because if you remember here they said that you need to have the glitter and the classes or the divs that you need to make them uh, draggable or that kind of things okay but here if i look for the glitter this is the one and i have a big big um kind of uh div wrapping all the products so we have like uh one div initially here okay so if i move back to my ide and try to figure out what's going wrong with this one well i could see that we have this div all right so what i'm going to do is simply I copy this and i will concatenate this glitter all right and let's reformat this again so include whatever and let's do this again this will solve a problem there we go so now if i click well it is swiping correctly and it is working as expected the only thing that you could do here simply to update the custom so instead of showing one we could show a three and this will be much better okay just need to maybe refresh again there we go so we have a three products now and if i swipe well it's working as expected for the responsiveness i think this glitter also support responsiveness uh, there we go so it's responsive well i just need an example with responsiveness um responsive there we go so we could do something like this it except in a rice copy this so quick here and other com column here there we go and let's see so breakpoint screen greater than 775 will be displaying slideshow auto and kind of things um slide to show to etc so yeah just uh, you can play around with this as much as you want so here um let's go ahead and make this a slightly smaller right let me just reduce the size of this window and let's go small more small here there we go so it is updating the layout as you may see here and now it is playing kind of four product of the same and if i go big again well it turned into two um so that was a real real quick intro to glitter and how to use it to display um yeah slider of products using prestation 1.7 if anything is not clear please don't hesitate to ask any question um, if you have any question i would like to follow my updates you can join um this uh discord channel that the link to it is in the description of this video after this if you are satisfied well i will do appreciate that you leave a couple of words and uh, a good thumb ups thank you for watching and peace be up in you